The Gatling Gun is the newest addition to Tower Defense Simulator and one of the most fun towers in the game. However, this fun can distract you from using the new tower properly, so I am going to show you how to effectively make use of the new Gatling Gun with obscure tips you may not hear from anyone else. Tip number one is making use of the piercing. The Gatling Gun's role for most of the game is going to be DPS, yeah, but what you really want to make use of is, of course, its piercing. This doesn't just mean place it in a straight line and let it do the work though. As you can see in this clip, enemies can still be decently far apart and it still makes use of the piercing. What I'm saying is that you don't have to place it differently to make use of the piercing. Just target hordes and you'll make full use of this tower's maximum DPS. Tip number two is to annihilate breakers. This tower's super fast fire rate and piercing is a perfect combo to just destroy breakers. Breakers often can soak up a ton of DPS from your other towers, so if they are getting in the way from your max DPS, just clear them out with this thing. Tip number three is that FPS mode isn't always the best. Yes, the auto mode can sometimes be more helpful than the FPS mode. Take this boss fight for example, or this one. If I want to freely micro other stuff, it's okay to just let this thing auto on the boss while I go do other things. You use FPS mode for the piercing, so if there's just one enemy, you can just let this auto mode do the work on the bosses. Especially since they move so slow, you're not gonna need to move this cone range anytime soon. An additional tip for auto mode, just because it's this small cone range doesn't mean that, oh it sucks, this is the only range it can target. Just enter FPS mode, turn your tower quickly, and then get out quickly, and you practically have a 360 degree range now. Tip number 4, make use of the cone range. Now this is a pretty rare example, but wow, let's say you wanted some extra defense, but you also want your cowboys to keep making that money without other towers stealing it. Gatling gun has your back. For certain moments, you can use the Gatling Gun to give your defense the extra push it needs, but when it doesn't, you can switch the Gatling Gun around to where it hits nothing, and you can let your cowboys continue their money making. Now the final tip, tip number 5, is targeting. Besides brainless AoE spam, there is some thought that goes into targeting with the FPS mode. Make sure to prioritize summoners, supporters, and other annoying enemies that traditionally are hiding in the crowd. On boss waves, it can also be advised to just target the boss and let your other towers hit the stuff in front. You're not losing much in this scenario anyway, as while you shoot the boss, the bullets are going to be piercing through it and hitting enemies around the boss as well. So you get early boss damage and you also kill the hordes around it, so it's a nice deal. Anyways, for now, that's all the tips I've got. This tower is truly just insane, being completely unstunnable, having infinite range, limitless targeting options, piercing, there's just so much to it. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, if this helped you out, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Peace out guys, have a good day. Also, this tower has like flying detection and stuff, so that's cool.